Well, right now we're exploring different uses, um, you know, cell tower inspections, um, line of sight inspections. You know, if someone's going to put up, up, you know, some power lines or a tower, they want to be able to see, you know, how is it going to be an eyesore to the, to the people around it. Um, also some dam inspections or, or building inspections, places that are hard to reach for people or hard to reach by foot. Or This is used to replace uh, traditional aerial survey. The turnaround time for this is you know, a matter of days as opposed to weeks. Um, so it's not necessarily a cost saving for us, but in the long run it's a time saver, which times money for us and our clients. Uh, we, have, we have it set based on um, you know, the acreage of the site. Uh, how many flight passes we need. We have it set up on an interval to take a photo, you know, every four seconds or every eight seconds, depending on the amount of overlap we need for that particular project. Um, and then we load these into a specialty software that actually stitches the photos together for us. Hey, actually, when I first called the FAA, I, we were talking about that because being a pilot was part of their their initial rules. And I said, well, we don't have anybody with a pilot license. And the guy from the FAA said, well, actually, you, you'll find that people who have no flying experience make better drone pilots because it's a different set of instincts. And so having played video games and grown up in that generation, using two joysticks is kind of second yeah. nature to us. So yeah. that was our qualification. We both, both grew up playing Call of Duty, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, any other kind of FIFA, sports games. I have uh, 500 hours of FIFA experience. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. It is fun. It is fun uh, to explore the new technologies and mesh, you know, to aerial topographic stuff with the rest of our engineering stuff. But it, you know, when that thing's in the air, it's, you know, your heart's pounding.